everybody welcome back to my channel it's me the chameleon girl gina and um with christmas coming up what i decided to do is make a couple of quick 30 minute meals that you know may be helpful to somebody because you're gonna do a lot of you're gonna be busy if you're me or most people cooking a lot a whole whole lot of food and desserts and baking cookies i've been baking cookies for two days now and so with that being said i just want the type of meals that are short sweet to the point um uh, for my family that are what i call like meals under 30 minutes so tonight i decided to make some liver and onions and liver and onions i understand is a hit or miss type of dish but anyway that's what i'm gonna do and I hope you guys enjoy the preparation of it. So the first thing that I like to do is, I I don't like to use beef liver. I like to use this here, which is calf liver. And that is the most tender liver that you're gonna be able to get this beef, you know, in the beef family. So I typically, I don't like salt because in my liver because it's a very thin meat. And there, if you're going to use other seasonings that have salt in them, it's no sense in adding, you know, it just can get salty real quick if you add white salt and then you can't really see. So the first thing that I like to do with my liver, I'm probably going to start with some garlic salt. And I'm going to sprinkle that. And when you, when you rinse your liver, especially this kind, I don't really know about beef liver, because like I said, I really don't cook beef liver because beef liver is tough and it's like the, the vein, it's real veiny to where you're all, I'm, 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 you know what I mean? But I guess it depends on how you cook it because then I've heard other people say different. And then I like onion powder. So I like some of that on there. So I like plenty of onion powder. Whenever I cook, I think I like more onion powder than um garlic on most things not everything well just about most things yeah almost everything that i cook i'm more of an onion type of person than garlic and i think i don't know tell me in the comments what if you like the more of the um the garlic or if you like the onion and then the last thing, well, one of the last things I'm going to add is some pepper. And I don't like to be stingy with my pepper either. And then I wanted some paprika in there, which it doesn't really have that flavor, but it, the color is going to come through the flour. And some people now, what they do, I have noticed, they take their, their skillet, and they just put some butter in there and they just brown the liver on each side. But what I have always liked to do, cause my mom told me this, is to add a little flour on there. So I guess what I'll do is actually go ahead and take my fork and then I'm gonna try to move this liver around. Like I said, this liver, calf liver is very very tender so you got to be careful when you wash it off and that stuff you know what I mean so I'm just gonna move mine to where it kind of gets on the bottom of the next piece and so have you the more you mess with it then your liver is gonna start falling apart okay so that's why I don't like to mess with my liver a whole lot because this stuff will be in little pieces if you keep it up and then what I like to do, go ahead and put some flour on there. Just real light. I'm probably gonna make a mess because, because I am. So then just take that first piece, put it on to the second piece. And like I said, be careful how you grab it up because I already feel that pulling. And just take it and lay it. And when you lay it, let's get that where you're flattening it. There we go. And it just needs to be at a higher temperature, right? That's me. So 
I need a little bit more flour as we go. I'm going to actually... Because I don't want it a whole, whole bunch of flour, but my flour is going to thicken my gravy. And I'm going to cheat on my gravy, gravy today, but you can make black gravy with it. Black gravy with liver and onions is the best, honey. Is the best. And then we just want to roll that around. Kind of get that coated as best as we can. Get that liver on in there. Looks like they all set, right? And then it would. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. Uh, then I'm gonna turn that up. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna have that on like six. You want to fry this, and I'm turning it up even higher. Cause I fry mine fast, and the reason why is because I'm going to have some gravy that I put right over it, and just just a minute. I'm gonna flip it, and then I'm gonna put the gravy in. I'm going to show you guys that stuff in just a moment. But after I flip it, then I probably throw my onions on there so that they can kind of sear up. Which I'm probably going to flip it now. There we go. See how, oh, I made a, it could be a grease fire. But um, see how pretty the grease, it, it just fries real quick. And because, you know, I put that paprika on there, then you're gonna get some color to it. And it's gonna have a, it, you, my liver can be eaten without gravy, is how much people who like liver, they like my liver like that, to where they'll sit up there and they'll start eating it, and it ain't done. I'll be like, the liver ain't not got no gravy and all that, and give me some bread. Like, oh my gosh. So anyway, now that when it's frying and the oil is still on there pretty good, I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna even turn it down to the off position and I'm gonna get those onions in there. So that's, that's looking wonderful. Now that's to me. That looks something good. And I know it'll be good because I, just, I, I can't, you, you know what, if you go, if you like liver and you know halfway how to cook, this is a meal you probably already, you know, you know how to cook, but I'm showing you just my way to make it fast and, and real simple. Cause some people feel like it's hard, like it's a hard meal. I have been told that like, it's not really a hard meal. But anyway, we're going to let that sear, and then I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do, which is this. I'm going to bring, I'm going to turn it back, and I'm going to bring the liver, which is brown. See how nice and brown that is on each side? I'm going to put that on top of the onions, because now I want my onions to take on the flavor of the oil. And I'll pour a little bit of the oil, well, kind of like most of the oil off. But we want those on top. So that your liver kind of is sitting on a bed of onions. And there is the liver is not still cooking. You know, it's getting the heat, but it's not getting seared anymore like that. But see, there's the oil that's still in there. So you guys stay with me. I'm going to get rid of some of this oil out of here. This pot is hot, but anyway, yeah, just stay tuned. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get two cups of water, but look at how much oil is left in there. We do want some of that oil to stand there because we're kinda, we're still on those, we just want the oil. But anyway, just take this gravy. Y'all know the routine, read the directions. That's the routine. But I'm, I'm not reading no direction. It's just two cups of water to your gravy. Whisk it right quick. 
have that liver up real quick. And then because I don't want it to spill, I'm going to whisk it over. Now this is going to go shh. Come here. Be careful. Better be careful. Then you want to stuff your liver back down in there, right? Because you want it to, that, that gravy and the onions and the liver, you want it to get married. And I got thick, quick. And you see the oil? That's for the most part, it's gone. That's why I like to have a little bit of oil in my food because I'm putting this over some dry rice. Dry, 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 baby. Now that's too thick. See how thick that got? So we're gonna cut it a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more wawa. So you just pour a little bit more water in there, right? Anyway, there's your meal. It's all done. And I'm going to plate it for y'all. And I want that off. That stuff is just, it's nice, it's hot. The onions is nice and translucent. The only other thing I want in there is a little pepper. I don't think I even need to taste test this to know that that is looking good, okay? I don't know how it looks to you on your end of that camera, but this stuff here, it looks so good to me. Yummy. Yummy, nommy, 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 nommy. So I'm gonna take some rice that I made. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna fluff that out real quick for us. I always say, you know what, if y'all, when y'all see these copper uh, chef pots, make sure you get one. I don't care which one it is, because I want to collect all of them. They have been so good to me. I just love them. But anyway, we're going to plate it. And this is how I like to do mine, on a square plate or whatever. It could be round. But anyway, on this particular plate, I like that like that. And then what I like to do... Eels. <coughs> hang ten, everybody. Hang ten. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, the serving spoon. Anyway, there go your liver. And hold up, because. We don't need. We're going to need. You know what? Let's just. Do that. We're going to do that. Like, y'all didn't see me take that up rice. But anyway, we're going to take this gravy. My daughter says she's good on liver tonight, but watch. Tomorrow she wants some. And just plate that on there. And then I like to add a little bit more pepper. I don't know, this is gonna be my plate probably. There you go. Liver and onions. And that is coming right up. And I know it's gonna be bomb. I would take a bite, but anyway, the way I'm gonna eat tonight because I'm not hungry, I'm gonna devour it. Let you see that. So I'll be back, because I'm gonna put these chitlins on. And people have asked me to do a more detailed chitlin video, so that's what we're gonna do tonight. So anyway, stay tuned to my channel. Like, comment, share. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel because I would appreciate it. Stay tuned. Good night.